Racist attacks directed at Asian communities have escalated since the start of the pandemic. In Wales, racial slurs and oral abuse have been on the rise too, despite the fact that expressions of hatred towards someone because of their race is illegal in Britain. Ilo Abdavid has the story. Fueled by suspicions and fear as the virus spread across the world, so did racism. Even before the first lockdown last March, insults and oral abuse was directed towards some Asian minorities living in Wales. When my son came home and told me that he was called coronavirus and deliberately coughed on, I thought, no, no, you should not have to put up with this behaviour. Um, I've just sort of sucked it up, if you like, and just accepted what's happened because I thought, I'm deal with it. But when it's somebody that you love and somebody's close to you, you want to protect them. Hate speech and racial slurs is not uncommon in the UK. Many, possibly most victims of it, don't complain, despite racist and religious hate crime being illegal in Britain. Early last year, the Chinese and Wales Association began receiving calls for help. In a survey of members, 68 responded. 54% said they felt they experienced insults because of their race. 68% said they didn't feel safe in their daily lives and 56 percent felt they had been victims of hate crime since the pandemic began there has been a lot of racism as a result of covid especially against the chinese because it came from is believed to be uh, from china culturally many in the chinese community in britain choose not to complain and few report specific incidents of abuse to the police. Our Chinese people don't bother to report. They just willing to discuss and talk and that's full stop. And um, I feel so difficult to persuade them to explore, the, uh, to explore themselves to report to the police. There have been instances where racism towards East Asians in the UK have spilled over into physical attacks. A University of Southampton lecturer was beaten in one such attack last February. Education is thought to be the best way to encourage change. When the child says, I can't sit next to a brown person, where does it come from? From home. So once these children learn that that is wrong, they would be the ambassadors to, change, to bring about changes. And education is absolutely vital. Various reports on racism against black and Asian minorities have been prepared for lawmakers in London and Cardiff. Lots of recommendations have been accepted, but encouraging and enforcing changes in society may be the hardest task of all. Yolo Abdavid, CGTN, London.